What's up team? So I'm gonna show you a really cool, awesome secret on how to film inside of a microwave. Now it's super dangerous. I wouldn't recommend anyone to try this at home, but um, it's really cool. I think you guys are gonna find it super interesting. So let me show you exactly how I did it. So the first time that we started uh, working with microwaving things, we microwaved a bar of ivory soap. And um, there was that outer protective layer on the microwave and we couldn't really see inside of it. Then we shot this video about uh, microwaving Doritos. And if you notice, uh, one of those clips, it, you're looking inside of the microwave itself. Um, and so I really wanted to share with you guys uh, how this is possible. Again, it's super dangerous. Um, the first time I, I looked for this, I went online, I went on YouTube, and I found a couple of YouTube videos that were like, I've discovered how to film inside of a microwave. And then that was it, they didn't tell you. And I was like, well, come on, man. I didn't click on this video because I was excited that you figured out how to do it. I clicked on it to see how you actually did it. You know who you are. And so um, I actually did not discover this on my own. Um, I actually reached out to somebody. Um, there was another website that I found called microwavecam.com. This guy named Derek. And I emailed Derek and I was like, hey dude, how'd you do it? And he was super cool about it. He just told me exactly how I did it. And he also gave me some good recommendations on how to make it even better. Okay, now you're probably thinking, Wait, was it a fiber optic? Did he have a, a fiber optic? Did he have mirrors? You know, was he filming this way, that way, the other? Did he just take the front of the door off? Um, I've read all these crazy theories on Reddit, and I'm sure all of them work. Here, here's the biggest problem. The camera that I'm, we're filming on right now, um, that has a really expensive sensor. And so I wouldn't want to shoot microwaves into this camera because it would probably ruin the camera. And actually, if you look, um, some cameras that have filmed inside of a microwave with just the door off, you can see that the, the image is like blurry. And I'm assuming that's because the microwaves are hitting that sensor and things are just going all, all sorts of crazy. And you don't want that. Also, you don't ever really want to take the door off of the front of the microwave. Now you're gonna be shocked about how easy this is. You're gonna be like, lols. <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe how simple that is. Now, you're looking at the microwave over here, right? And you're thinking, maybe they they got a camera in the backside and fiber optic lens and did it. Maybe, maybe they just do this and maybe there's a little hole here. No, come to the other side, the true side. So here's how we did it. What we basically did is we measured out where we could put this camera um, up against here that would give us the best angle. Then we measured it out and we drilled a little tiny hole that was the same size as the camera. And then we placed it right over top of that hole and then duct taped it in place. That was it. <laughs> it was that simple. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, okay, Nick, uh, what if, you know, the microwaves come shooting out of here and, you know, blast you and give you cancer and then, you know, the boiler blood? Well, this right here is made of essentially the same material as your phone. If not, the phone is it's thicker. So if you're blocking that actual hole right there, uh, not, not really giving a lot of space for microwaves to come out. And so by placing the camera over top of this hole right here, enough at least for us to film inside of there, uh, we're, we're essentially blocking the hole. And so now that you guys know, let's, let's look at some really cool footage that we shot with this phone uh, in slow motion. First victim, ivory soap. Uh, if you guys remember from our last video. This one's pretty cool. What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's even better than the first time I ever did it. That is awesome. It's still steaming. That is incredible. The next thing we're doing in the microwave here is we're gonna shrink this little little chip bag. Uh, I'm gonna put my offering out for my for my filmer. He wants. That's right. Come over and film. <laughs> that's how that's how I get my camera guy to come out here. I just I put little like little snacks out for him, and um, he. Uh, he comes out for the snacks and he stays for the filming. We're gonna put this in here for five seconds on the high. This sound always freaks me out. Okay. 
Wow. Now it's hot, so I'm gonna go in there and grab it with this towel. That little tiny guy. <laughs> That's awesome. So I got my cotton candy soap here and my little tiny chip bag. <laughs> All right, so there you guys go. Um, that is how you film inside of a microwave. You put a little hole and then you block that hole with the lens of a smartphone. Um, that's really it. Um, no mirrors, no fiber optics. I'm sure those other ones work, but that's how we did this one. Um, and so far, I am surviving, so that is good. Um, if you guys like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, did you think that the, the solution for filming inside of a microwave was so simple? It was just so easy. Um, also, I started a Patreon page. Please take a second to go check it out. Uh, the whole point of the Patreon page is so that we can do bigger and better experiments. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys really soon.